your majesty at your service. Welcome to Fair Queen Talks. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my podcast. Get ready, be ready. It's week seven of the UK lockdown and I don't know about you, but for me, time has gone by really fast. I'm seven months postpartum and it's been a roller coaster of a journey. The past seven weeks have been instrumental for the state of my mind and inviting you to be part of this journey of tapping into our greatness has been a blessing to me. I've come to realise that the great source of energy within me comes from a place of motivating and helping others. By helping others, I am indirectly helping myself because I'm able to see the value of the things I know to be true. Often we know things, but because we think we know better, we don't apply that knowledge and make wise decisions in our lives. For example, something as simple as our parents teaching us to wash our hands before we eat, after toilet trips and etc. is a good practice. We all know that, yet a lot of people don't seem to act that way. And it surprises me when this happens in restaurants especially. Yet, now COVID-19 is here, it's all the new rave, it's all you hear about. Wash your hands, wash your hands. We should know this already and do better. The practice of washing our hands should be common knowledge, but common knowledge is not so common after all. My point is that we all know a lot of things, and if we took the time to do what we knew, we would be on the road to become our best selves. Now, before giving birth, I thought I'd be such an organized man. I'd have my girls in a really good routine. I'd be working out all the time. I'd be breastfeeding till six months and just see my girls develop like no other. And when I tell you that the person I thought I'd be and who I was after giving birth is very, very opposite. I mean, the only thing I was able to organize were my girls' nappies and their milk. They were in their own and very inconvenient routine. I was very lazy and I would just stay in my room and in, in my PJs and just make sure my girls were alive. My girls are so chill and they just do things when they feel like it. As a new mum, I don't feel bad for my early stages of motherhood because I needed to adjust to this new chapter of my life. The hardest bit for me were the first six weeks and after that I got the hang of things. I was able to think about getting back to some form of normality within myself. I did things that I usually did like serving in my callings at church. I started to socialise with friends, go to work for my keep in touch days And I was waiting for the day to hit my six month mark uh, to start exercising because I had been diagnosed with a condition called diastasis recti. And this is a condition that can occur to women after giving birth when the rectus abdomini stretch or split apart. And you basically have a gap in your abdominal muscles and this can leave you looking pregnant or have a pooch. And while I've lost a lot of the water retention and weight from my pregnancy during the first six months postpartum, my belly still appears to have a pooch, which is not how I would like to have it. And although I know my body has given me two amazing, beautiful, kind, loving girls, I want my body to be in a frame that I can live in confidently and not be conscious of an experience that lasted me nine months so just as I was on this journey to get back to my normal self lockdown happened and so many things I was doing had to stop and although public life was shut down I knew within myself that I could not stop and I needed to get back to my normal self I took the time to brainstorm and I looked for things that I could do I could do a podcast, for example. I could work out from home. I could still help people from the comfort of my home. I could still prepare myself in a way that would allow me to grab all the opportunities of life. I didn't need to wait for 
an early morning appointment to get up in the morning. I didn't need to look cute only when I'm going on a date with my husband or meeting with friends. I didn't have to or I don't have to wait for things our or people to get up and be ready. Now this attitude of getting ready and being ready has allowed me to achieve so many things. It's allowed me to have a positive outlook on each day that I experience. I am able to wake up with a great amount of gratitude for another day on this earth and I'm able to really receive all the goodness that this world has to offer. I'm able to dedicate some time to get my body into the shape that I want. I am a bit more motivated to get dressed and use the clothes that are in my wardrobe. I look after the health of my hair because, you know, all crowns need to be polished. I'm working towards my goals and I have the consciousness that there are so many opportunities out there for me. I just have to make sure that I am ready to take those when I see them. Now, I love this quote and it's something that has really changed my perspective on what we are doing during this quarantine. And it says, success happens when preparation meets opportunity. The way the world now is, we all have to learn to adapt to this new normality. And the quicker we learn to adapt, the quicker we are able to move on with the times and be able to use this new environment to our advantage. So I want to set you a challenge and this challenge is going to be able to get you properly ready for your days. Now it doesn't matter how many times you have to try this. Once you're able to do so successfully, uh, you will thank yourself for this. And I put myself to challenge this week. On Monday I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. Um, but I was only really successful from Wednesday onwards. So, you know, as I'm recording this, this is Thursday, so I'm two days strong. And I believe that Friday will be a successful day. So this is the challenge. Get ready, be ready. So step one, I want you to wake up one hour earlier than you would usually wake up. So I would normally wake up at eight o'clock, like start my day. So I would now have to wake up at seven o'clock. And when you wake up, I want you to tidy your bed and tidy it nice like you're in a hotel. Like this is, this is going to be a good tidy up, not just any messy up tidy up. So once you've woken up and tidied up your bed, I want you to take a time to sit down or however you find it easy to meditate. But I want you to meditate for five minutes and just be grateful to have a new day and be ready to receive goodness. I want you to focus on your breathing and just sit still but be conscious. After this, if you have any positive thoughts, I want you to write them down and I want you to set one goal to achieve that day. And this could be something as small as folding your laundry. And as long as you've done that, that's going to be amazing. Number four, I want you to exercise for at least 10 minutes and you can find any workout of choice. For example, today I did a 10 minute workout on the stairs and it was a blast. I mean, I feel good for doing it, but while I was doing it, it was a pain. But just find something for 10 minutes minimum. Uh, it can be longer if you want, but remember you've got an hour to do everything. So once you've done your workout, I want you to pick out an outfit and lay it on your bed. Now this outfit needs to exude confidence and just something that makes you feel happy and just pleased to see yourself in. And once you've done that, the last step of this will be to go to your nearest mirror. This could be in your bathroom so you can be by yourself. And I want you to say some words of affirmation. Now words of affirmation are things that are positive, that bring out um, good things about you. So I'm going to give you an example of a couple of affirmations that you could say, but you can pick your own. So for example, you could say, I will be fearless today. Today is full of possibilities. I love who I see in the mirror. I am beautiful. 
Today is my day. Whatever challenges come my way, I can overcome them. Today, I will learn and grow. Now, the affirmations you will say can change every day. And the more you say it, the more it will become true. And it can really transform your outlook and perspective on life. Now, after you've done all this, you can go back to your normal routine. So if you would take a shower the first thing you'd wake up or you go for a run, you can carry on doing that. But you will see that if you do this successfully, your whole day will change. And that's because you've done something for yourself one hour before. Now, if you're able to do this successfully, or even if you feel like that, I don't mind. If you're able to do so, I want you to email me your experiences. And my email is fairyqueendom at gmail.com. And I want you to let me know how you found it and if it's helped you. And trust me. If you do this and you're able to do it successfully, you'll be thanking yourself. (laughs) So lastly then, getting up and being ready benefits your mental health and it puts you in a state of readiness for anything. I hope you're able to apply the things that you know to be true and live a life of wise decisions. At the end of each episode, I address the queendom. Get up and be ready. Identify your source of strength. It's okay to have an off season. Just work towards doing better each day. Every challenge in life makes you better. When your body and mind is prepared, you can take on any opportunity. Thank you for listening to Fairy Queen Talks. See you next time.